Welcome to the old residence club ground in the suburbs of Rosario, Argentina's third largest city, where it is finals day in the World Rugby in the 20s Championship. But it is survival that will be first and foremost on the minds of Scotland and Fiji in the first of today's three games. Relegation looms large for Scotland and Fiji, two teams who have failed to win one game in the championships here in Argentina over the last three weeks. Both teams have played some attractive rugby on occasions, but both face the daunting prospect of having to re-qualify for the age grades premier tournament if they lose this crucial match. So, the final game for seeding at the Old Residence ahead of the 2020 tournament will see Italy victors over Scotland here on Monday take on Georgia, who denied Fiji in the 80th minute of their clash. In the seventh place playoff, Ireland and New Zealand will battle it out. Unfamiliar territory for the six times champions, the junior All Blacks. And uh, at the Racecourse Stadium, Old Adversaries, Wales and England will contest the fifth seeding in the first match of the day. Host Argentina will be assured of home support as they look to claim the bronze medal ahead of the junior Springboks. Whilst the main event sees in form Australia and winners here in Argentina in 2010 go up against the reigning champions, France. The players have enjoyed a five-day turnaround in their preparations, and that's also the case at the old Resian ground with today's games played on an adjacent field following the rain-affected matches of last Monday. Ideal conditions for the first game of the day, Scotland against Fiji. I'm Wynne Griffith, and alongside me is uh, Sam's, Argentina Sam's coach, uh, Santiago Gomez Cora, who would want to be a coach of this game, uh, of the teams playing here today, Santi. It will be amazing. We have the relegation matches. Yeah. It's a lot of things to do to do into the field, and we are, we are very happy because we have a sunny day here to finish this under-20 championship. And all to play for, certainly, the two respective captains there, Conor Boyle and uh, Tevita Ikanivere. So Scotland have made uh, four changes, two positional following uh, their loss to Italy. Ross Bunny comes in uh, with into the second row, while uh, fullback Matt Davidson returns to the starting lineup after impressing off the bench against Italy. The reshuffled backline also sees Cameron Anderson move from fullback to outside centre, allowing Rory McMichael to reclaim the number 14 jersey. Fiji, while well, they made five personnel changes in one position following their loss to Georgia, Flanka Yabati Seto, an injury replacement, gets a start along with recalled scrum half Simeone Kuruvoli, centers Isaac Ratamaitevuki and Varesa Tungovu, and win Kaminieli Rasaku. Oceana Tonga switches from right to left wing. And trialed here at the World Rugby in the 20th Championship are extended squads with a maximum of eight allowed, including, of course, numbers 16 to 18, who must be front row replacements. Tense moments these then for Scotland and Fiji. And both are staring relegation in the face on the final day of the 2019 World Rugby and the 20s Championship. And how both teams cope with the intensity of the opening 20 minutes or so might be the key to uh, avoiding the trapdoor from the age grades premier tournament, uh, Santi. Uh, you can imagine what these uh, youngsters are going through and the respective 
coaches as well. They failed to win one game in the tournament, but it's survival of the fittest here. Yes, maybe now it's time to take the decision if they're going to play just to win or they need to keep uh, working with the development of the team and of uh, the individual players, no? We, uh, we have a sunny day, the first day with, with very good condition to play wide maybe, and we are going to see a different Fiji maybe, and the, the, the chase and for the goal from Scotland to see what they can do in the last match. Scotland like to play the wide game and Fiji, as we know, the brilliant individual talents. We've seen some fantastic tries from them. So the stage is set then for this uh, all important relegation match because one of these teams will be relegated in an hour and a half's time. So we will pause as the teams gather and stand for their respective national anthems. Damas y caballeros, les rogamos el silencio y respeto para escuchar los himnos nacionales de Escocia y Fiji. A continuación, en primer lugar, escucharemos el himno nacional de Escocia. A continuación, escuchamos el himno nacional de Fiji. writ large on the faces of not just the Fiji squad but the Scots as well and the odd tear in the eye because both teams recognize the importance of this clash and now we have the traditional cultural challenge the thimby laid down by the Fijians and the Scots stand in a proud uh, line of blue across the 10 meter line to accept the challenge The Tibovo and the Thimby well received by the uh, 
The spectators, as we look at the team, well, Ashman there, the hooker, he's a joint top try scorer in the tournament with five alongside uh, Jordan Joseph of France, who's in today's final captain by Connor Boyle at uh, flank forward. Frostwick and Thompson start uh, the fourth game together. He can be very well. A proud Fijian, as I say, he's got some exciting players in that lineup. Loa Loa and Shaw in the back row. It's a first start for Seattle. Kuravoli and Muntz are reunited at half back. And look out for Wanga, the fullback. He loves to get involved in the game. So it's all to play for here at the old Resian ground. A tense and uh, nail biting game in prospect, that's for sure. And some of those replacements might uh, well be required and might well influence the outcome, the final outcome of this game. So, a game of this uh, magnitude needs a quality referee, and we have one in Craig Evans from Wales as a charge of arguably the championship's second, if not the most important fixture of the last three weeks. The clock counts down to zero for this relegation match. Scotland against Fiji. Scotland, kick off with the sun on their backs. And we know that Fiji love to play with sun on their backs or in their faces. And it's they that have the first opportunity here, the charge downfield as the ball is scooped up by Osea Wanga, the fullback, off flows to Ali Moretti, lower, lower. The Fijians have come out to play. When the sun is out, well, the Fijians can play some sunshine rugby. Ratu Maitavuki with a little toe poke there, deep into uh, Scotland territory. Just haven't managed to scramble the ball away, but only as far as right to Maitavuki. This is uh, the outside half, the playmaker, Muntz. The kick into space again, giving chase. That's Natonga, a dangerous player on the left flank uh, for Fiji. And they look to uh, catch the Scots napping here, Santiago Gomez Cora, in the opening uh, few seconds. Uh, that was we waited for Fiji have a, an open match to be with good runs, big run, long runs, Using. and now is the opportunity for Scotland to go away. Right footed. Rowan Frostwick gets the ball away, but the Scots know that they, they're in for a torrid time. There was the odd cheer on the cheeks of Rowan Frostwick as that uh, anthem was being sung, and he appreciates the enormity and the significance of the outcome of this match. No less than 14 players in that Scotland squad have a vested interest in securing a victory today because they could be back next year if indeed uh, Scotland retain their position in the top tier of this age grade group. Yes, the Scotland team has to wait the opportunity to recover the ball like in this situation or in the breakdown because always Fiji want to play the, the, the ball, keep the ball alive and that is a good challenge for, for Scotland. Yeah. Fiji showed up well in the uh, close quarters against Georgia. They defended for, for long periods and they weren't daunted by the huge Georgian pack. Set. Last man down, number eight, uh, Thierry Shaw, Aminiasi. Shaw. All right, a mistake from the Scotland outside half, Ross Thompson. You can tell that it's a very nervy Scotland side which has taken the field and uh, no home nation uh, uh, that is one of the six nations of the Northern Hemisphere uh, has ever been relegated in the tournament. And uh, I'm sure that is also at the back uh, of their minds. Yes, too much pressure in just one match. It's part of this championship, and maybe in two, three minutes we had many turnovers. And let's go to what happened in this opportunity for in the first opportunity for Fiji to to have a penalty. So it's uh, Caleb Muntz who will take this uh, penalty. New Zealand born, played for New Zealand schools. Played four matches in the World Rugby in the 20s trophy winning campaign of 2018. Of course, Fiji won that trophy. That's how they have uh, qualified for the junior championships. The under 20 championships. Muntz steps up, just pulls it to the left of the upright. So an opportunity missed by Fiji. What looked to be a, a simple penalty goal 
the ground is pretty firm on the foot uh, in total contrast Santi to what we witnessed uh, on the adjacent field last Monday yes look well they need to change the, the field because it was terrible the range here in Rosario but this one looked very well to, to play Fiji want to get the ball into the hands of the wide men of Sia Natonga at 11 and coming Yeli Rasaku. Surprisingly, Eli Sandro Assese and Epeli Momo, two of their most uh, potent attackers, start this one from the bench. That's a big look forward. Chris Minimbi plays for the Marist Club. Good recycling into the hands of Caleb Muntz. It's uh, Thierry Shaw, who's there. Nice work from uh, Osea Wanga. Wanga again back inside, and this is going to be the opening score. Just what the Fijians wanted. It's claimed by Isaac Raito Maitabuki, the young man who plays his rugby for Taranaki in New Zealand. It's been all Fiji in the opening five minutes. Missed a penalty, but now they get their just rewards. Great work from the Islanders. Yes, look at this. Fiji find the space to start to play, to oh, move the Greg. ball, to play okay. wide, and then the legs and the speed of this guy do the rest. Fiji. They move very fast, quick hands to the touch, then play inside and finish into the goal. Number 12 of Fiji, Isaac Rutamataubuika. Can you help me with that surname? <laughs> Yes, I can, certainly. Ratu Maitavuki. If you help me with the Argentinian names the next time we meet, Santi. Perfect. Good effort. But good opportunity for Fishy. They show that they want to play, they want to move the ball. Munz makes no mistake this time. And Fiji leads Scotland after some six minutes of play here at the old Resian ground. Look at this offload again. Great work. Nice passing. And right to Maitavuki is the grateful recipient. Uh, by the way, Santi, congratulations to Jaguares last night defeating the Chiefs. They did it amazing. A good challenge for the next week. That's great news, not just for the Jaguares, of course, but for the Argentinian under 20 players who are playing their uh, bronze medal today against uh, South Africa over at the Racecourse Stadium. Advantage could be a great weekend for Argentina. Craig Evans playing advantage to Scotland here as Robbie McCallum looks to test the Fijian defense which proved solid against the Georgians ball tipped Back forward so the referee will bring them back for the original offense number 13 now oh, this is going to be interesting uh, Santi because Scotland no, have not attempted a penalty Shot goal on. kick throughout the tournament but this is going to be the first attempt then for Ross Thompson that is made part of we talked in the at the beginning before the match they didn't kick any any situation and maybe because now it's the challenge to to don't be relegated they want to just win maybe the match before they want to develop as a team as an individual player too and now they're looking for be part of the next under 20 championship forget about bonus points today it's all about the win and claim points whichever way you can garner them ross thompson takes a deep breath and understandably so left footed on the 22 to open Scotland's account Thompson sends it high it has the legs and that should steady the nerves easy kick for Thompson never is easy before to kick obviously but easy kick to Thompson and as you say they are looking for just score more points than the other team to be part of the next championship thompson one of four players returning in the scottish lineup from the 2018 campaign murphy walker the prop you and uh, johnson at uh, lock forward marshall sykes in the back row back row jack blaine with the uh, red headgear has come in from the uh, the left wing to secure possession back safely into the hands oh, of Thompson oh, oh, oh. who strokes it sweetly with the left foot into touch but as we uh, now expect from the Fijians they want to get on with play Mutz under pressure that always looking for the gap Advantage. that was Antonio Wanga almost with the breakthrough and that effort has brought a smile to the face of uh, Santiago Gomez Cora here. This is what we enjoy about the Fijians playing. 
that is fishy, they try to break the lines, put the ball away, play offload, play always into the defense, with mistake like this time, but when they connect, they finish always in the at goal. What do you think that uh, Fiji uh, playing in the relegation battle here and in the Oceania and the 20s championship they held Australia to 14-0 uh, after 80 minutes just one try and Australia today Santi are competing for the gold medal here in Rosario. That is Five. a rugby today. They are not different between the, this match, Set. for example, players or, in, or team from this match to the match who, the teams who are going to play the final. Pressure down. Josefa Nasarua. The tight head prop of Fiji. Couldn't take the weight. So scrum goes to ground. And chance for Thompson to kick four position. That's nice, good touch. Ross Thompson from the Glasgow Hawks. Two-handed catch at the line-out by Ewan Johnson. Scotland look to get the ball early into the hands of this man. He's a devastating finisher. Is Jack Blaine plays his rugby for the Heriots former pupils. But I tell you what, this is the guy that's uh, creating an impression on me, Ewan Ashman. If Scotland weren't down in the basement here, he would certainly be in my lineup for Not player the of the tournament. Loves to get involved as a sales sharks hooker, Ewan Ashman. Five Second tries to his two. name. An equal top try scorer with uh, Jordan Joseph of France, who uh, was player of the tournament 12 months ago in France, of course. So Scotland, kick for position. Penalties and Hans' mistake gave the opportunity to, to Scotland to keep the, with the possession and to the opportunity to score. Fiji have the possession and the territory in this uh, opening Point 11 in. minutes or so. Ross Bundy has come into uh, the side. This is what Scotland is so good at, the rolling mall. They use it at good effect in the... Uh, Same mall. Home Six Nations Championship. This is how they defeated Wales, their only win in the Six Nations tournament. Accuracy is what's required here now, then. Taken up again at centre by uh, Robbie McCallum. Thompson, he's got support. Up from fullback, that's Matt Davidson. Rory McMichael out from centre to win for this match. But Fiji hold them out. Connor Boyle, the captain, leads the charge. There are men out wide for Scotland as Bundy takes it up again. This time, surely it has to go out from Thompson. One more pass might do it. Blaine in at the corner. Got to be much, much better from Scotland. Building through the phases, which is something that they weren't able to do against Italy in the atrocious conditions last Monday. But they have their first score to take the lead by one point and a conversion to come. Similar start from Scotland and Fiji. They play from one touch to the other touch. We keep the number 14 from Scotland, keep yes, the possession perfect. safe because he ran inside and then okay. finish this movement in the other okay, side okay, boys. Craig, with the number okay. 11, Shaq Blaine. He finished into the goal from one side to the other side to finish yes, into the goal. Well done, Scotland. Harder. They tried to do this the last week, okay. but because maybe okay, of the perfect. rain, of the condition, of because it's a wet ball, he couldn't do it. But now they are trying to do the same and they finish right, into the in goal. Yeah, I can see former Scotland great uh, John Jeffrey on the far side there, uh, high in the stand, and he'd be delighted with that effort uh, from his fellow countrymen. And former Scottish back row forward, Thompson, just uh, misses with that conversion. But uh, that's steadied the ship for Scotland. They lead Fiji after 13 minutes, 8-7, to seven, and scored by the man who started all five games now for Scotland in this tournament, Jack Blaine. Both winger with very good runs, trying to keep the ball safe, playing, running inside, and finish with one try. But kicks long from the restart, finds... Tom Marshall plays his rugby for the Newcastle Falcons across the border in the north of England. Use it! Get out, get out. 
Hold, boys, hold, hold, seven, Safely seven, back in the hands of but Davidson doesn't find touch. One pass in field from Asiya Uwanga to the high stepping Chiri Shaw. He can do some damage in full flight. Nice pass into the hands of Tungovu. Scotland are there in numbers directly beneath us here in the commentary position. Digging deep, that's uh, Kuruboli, the scrum half. Big Gaboli, Levi Natave, the Navy prop forward. Big men in midfield and centre field, Chris Minimbi. Good pressure being applied by the Scottish. First man. Too much pressure at the breakdown. Player from Fiji play first, they want to ask for the ball that first and then go to the breakdown, and that's why maybe they arrive a little late. That's why they miss three balls in the breakdown. So not surprisingly, Thompson again kicking for position. This is how uh, it led to the first try for Scotland, but doesn't find touch. That's a criminal offence for any outside half. But there's uh, a chance here again as uh, Davidson thought about uh, taking it at himself into the wide open spaces. Thompson. That's a good decision from the outside half. Testing the, uh, the Fijian defences. Scotland. That's Scotland. So will Scotland contest the line out here? Fiji reducing the numbers. White in the set, please. Palm down, but it's claimed by Scotland. Now then, a chance perhaps as Fiji were back the mandatory 10 meters, of course, an opportunity for Scotland to gain ground. Thompson, oh, excellent work here at center by Robbie McCallum. And unfortunately for the Scots, play breaks down. There'll be a Fijian throw in. You can tell from the sweat pouring off the. Uh, the face there, Tivite Ikanibere, the Fijian captain, that we have some pretty humid conditions here in Rosario. Yes, the Scotland team must, they want to do a okay. game plan, they want to follow the game plan. Maybe they have some gaps to attack, but they prefer to, to follow the game plan. And the Fijian players, when they want to follow the game plan, they made some mistake into the breakdown in the rack, and they miss three or four balls there. They want to. It's Obviously, it's better to grow as a team when you follow some game plan, but when you see the players from Fiji, when they start, just yeah. run and pass the ball away, they did it better than, than they want to Is follow up? a game plan. Okay. Uh, Fiji, they were denied in the 81st minute of their first victory here against Georgia last Point Monday. It was heartbreaking. They had an opportunity to make the game safe with some three minutes from the end they had a penalty and uh, not quite sure what to do with it they run it rather than put it into touch we might okay. have seen them avoid this relegation battle Sorry today but it was not to be and it's game okay. management perhaps that the fijians through? do lack the game quite a far away davidson okay <laughs> okay time off time off Rust, it's, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. The comms were in and out, buddy. So Rasta Rasavenge is the it's got foul play. referee's assistant. Number five, number number five. five. just a late tackle by number five. Number five late oh, tackle. Yeah. Where's the mark? Oh, over here. Just so he's okay. called a late tackle number five. against uh, Ross Bundy. Late tackle. Five Scottish minutes, second row. On the f on the fi fifteen, Ross. Fifteen. It's so a late tackle by number five. The penalty of Fiji. Now we spoke of the. Experienced referees uh, earlier on, referring to Craig Evans, well, the, the most experienced referee here, probably is the man in shot now. That's Rasta Rasavenge from South Africa, somebody you know very well on the seventh circuit, Santi. A lot of experience in sevens, many years there. Five. Rasta and Evans. Good to see them working in, in concert. Thank you. And the other one is from Argentina, Spirandelli, a local referee yeah, too. It's uh, Juan Spirandelli on this near Thank side. You. From here, from Rosario too. Lua Lua takes in, turns his back against the uh, the storm as Fiji drive into 
make the ball, make clean ball available for Kuruvoli. Go the other way, says Muntz. Got some big guys over there. The first receiver is uh, Yusefa Nasarua, a tight head. Fiji piling Kuruvoli two months uh, facing that ruck and just about manages to get the ball away. And Fiji and Bokare grabbed around the shoulders, around the, the neckline. And that always brings a gasp from the, uh, the audience these days as uh, high tacklers, of course, they demand uh, closer scrutiny. Oh, nice pass, good work here well, by the wingfield quarter. Rasaku into the wide open spaces. Rasaku, Davidson had to make that tackle. Great pick up there. And Fiji stormed down into the 22. One more pass so might do it. The offload is there. On hand is Tungovu. Tungovu is over. And the referee Craig Evans might want to have a look. Just confirmation with the Fijian players. Uh, and no doubt that the try has been scored by Vanessa Tungovo. What a great score that was. Let's go to see if his try well done for Tungovo. Finish into the goal, but everything was started by number 14, Rasaku. The Fijian team keep the possession, move the ball from one side. They follow the game plan. Then when, then it's the, when they find the space, that is fishy. When they start to run, that is fishy, and the individual player like Craig, Rasaku did the rest. That's right. And they are checking. Or they award the try. They are I checking. Think they're happy because Craig Evans has allowed Munts to uh, take the conversion. So Tungu will finish at the goal, but Rasaku break the line and keep the ball safe and he put away four defenders and the offload to finish on the other side. Mats. Oh, that's a beautiful kick here from the Fijian outside half. Well, we saw this uh, in earlier games, didn't we, that uh, Fiji were able to match the stride, try scoring efforts of Argentina, France and Wales early on. And they've done so again here against Scotland. What a neat offload that was from the newcomer, Sieto. An injury replacement at number six for Fiji. Turning into a great contest here. Midway through the first half, Scotland 8, Fiji 14. Two tries to one. Munts. Miss kick from the outside half. Off the side of his boot. Davidson. Takes on the first man. Nasaroa. Turns. Lays the platform. Murphy Walker to reach forward for that one. Thompson straight into uh, one of his own players. And luckily, from uh, a Scottish perspective, they managed to retain possession. I bet that their coach Carl Hogg is spitting feathers in the uh, in the shed next door, and they've given away a penalty. They kick the ball and go to the back of the same. <laughs> A player from the same team. Well, he was a little taller, wasn't he? A little <laughs> tall. I'm not going to kick it. But Thompson. Hold on. I think it was Marshall Sykes, I think, the back row forward. Um, we have the match that we, we were waiting because it's a sunny day. Both teams need to win. They're playing wide. They're playing in a good... They have a very good movement. So we are... In, in 20 minutes, we have three tries. So Thank you. it's perfect for us. Well, Santi, we know how devout and religious the, the Fijians are you know uh, the great way Salis Arevi from old on the Sams and uh, they must have been praying last night for sunshine and uh, their prayers have been answered I dare say that the Scots might have uh, hoped for a wee drop of rain hoping for a, a little drink weather as they call some inclement weather north of the border in Scotland not a bad kick great take though again by uh, Rasaku, well, he's causing all sorts of problems for Scotland. Unfortunately for them, just losing the ball forward at a critical moment. But Rasaku on the wing, he's certainly impressed today. What a catch, what a comeback from there. Rasaku has an individual skills. 
they made mistake as fish and okay, they one. have to keep possession I, no, 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 no. retain the possession the there it's very important because they Don't break the line the most important in that it. way in that play they are close to the red zone keep the possession and you have a lot of opportunity to score in, in both sides Scotland back in their own uh, 22 engage with us on social media hashtag world rugby in the 20s s in the 20s but world rugby is the uh, set address twitter instagram snapchat facebook tell us what you uh, think of the tournament and this game in particular perhaps and of course we will be told later on today who the uh, breakthrough player of the tournament is likely to be fiji Technical offense step out and walk around. That was Murphy Walker. The scrum is dead. You've got to come straight. And they're going to the post and walk the scrum around. Yes. Fiji is playing as a final, and the Scotland too because they asked for for post two. So Murphy Walker at loose head, stepping out with his left foot and then looking to walk the scrum around. Not. Uh, Keeping the shove straight. So here's an opportunity for young Caleb Muntz to take his team out to a two score advantage. Muntz played three matches in the Fiji Warriors World Rugby Pacific Challenge winning campaign in March. And some 16 points, but this is literally a totally different ball game. Steps up, sends it high and true between the posts. So Caleb Mutz stretches Fiji's lead to nine points, 24 minutes into the first half. Rory McMichael, the sun may have been in the eyes of the Dave. Fijians, but it was McMichael who dazzled them. To your feet. Rostwick, the Davidson from fullback, the deceptive Robbie McCallum, fleet footed Robbie McCallum, advantage Scotland, and Scotland have plenty of men out wide. Right beneath us here is Rory McMichael. Waving his hands at Thompson, perhaps, but it's Blaine again coming in off the left flank. The forwards Point. drive in. It's there at the, the feet of the, the scrum half. And there's McCallum. We saw some nifty footwork from McCallum against New Zealand in the uh, opening rounds. High tackle. It's the high tackle from Ratumai Tavuki, which is penalised. Scotland need to keep in touch. It's 12 white. What a tackle. catch from Rory Mac Michael at the restart. It was amazing. He ran from the side. It's very important the reception after the score some some points, you know? Mm -hmm. It's very important to confirm the break, like in tennis. It's very important the reception. Look, if it is, I'll come through. That is a high tackle. There you are, boys. Perfect. It's what's known as a, a seat Six. belt tackle. Promising attacking position here then for Scotland. That's the first element okay. done by uh, Ross Bundy in concert with his hooker, Owen Ashman. But Fiji have uh, managed to thwart the uh, first Same rush ball. from Scotland but here they come again driving forward good organization from the Scots almost to the Fijian try line out wide again Blaine looking for his second halted in his tracks four meters out from the Fijian try line pick and drive from the Scots forward Frostwick backs the orders out to Thompson the outside half as the forwards 
in blue, take it up once again, only to be thwarted for the second time. This time, surely it must come out. Still advantage to Scotland. Frostwick. No. To Thompson. Brought him back. He can play on. Up from fullback is Davidson. They're looking uh, for McMichael out wide. Anderson, though, is there at centre. Off his right foot. On the charge. On the angle. Murphy Walker almost to the try line. One more effort. One more lung busting effort from Scotland. Should do it. But the ball cut it, he's held it up, so Craig Evans will take them back for the initial penalty. You've got two, you've got two penalty advantages. The first penalty came from one. Okay, they're back in the same place anyway. So back in the same place, says Craig Evans. What a moment. Scotland need to convert this pressure into points. Yeah, this is a moment to convert, to be close. Two. And one more, we, we saw Amol with use his arms, 10 players inside. Wait. Classical style, line Amol. And they finish very, very, very close to the goal. Six, 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 sorry. No, six. Fiji know what's coming here. It all starts with Iwan Ashman. Bundy again, as soon as his no, feet touch the ground, fine. Scotland. Piling drive forward. Craig Evans happy that the Fijian uh, defensive effort is is legal as they look to sack that ball and they've done so successfully, and done so brilliantly. And Scotland have to start all over again. White Davidson is up front fullback in midfield. Three. Scotland split to three left, three right here. Ashman arrives. At the back of that uh, ball, five meters out. Fiji on tippy toes, ready for the next uh, thrust, which is bound to come. Thompson, good hands there. And once again, the center, Anderson is held up. Ball loose, didn't go forward from Scotland. Have they been able to recover? Yes, they have. Now there's a little bit more beef in the form of Owen McLaren from the Air Club. Lovely angle there from the fullback. Great try for Mark Davidson. The threat was always there. Fiji keeping an eye on the forwards. But Matt Davidson found a gap for himself. And that has closed yeah, the gap to four points with a conversion to come. Great Scottish pressure. All yeah, started right. again yeah, from the line-out yeah. penalty. What a patience for the team from Scotland. They start in a classical way. With line and mold, they put more than 10 or 11 players into that mold. Thank you. And then the angle from Craig, Matt Davidson Thank you. Right. do the rest. Simplest of conversions for Thompson. And Scotland are back within two points. Let's have another look. Davidson evaded the first tackle. Good angle, reached forward and dotted it down. Davidson find a small door there to attack, but the angle was the most important thing that they, he did to finish into the goal. Very good, very good movement. They keep the possession and they finish with a good angle to finish into the goal and be. And that we say we are we have a very good match here because we will have a lot of tries. Two points the difference. Ten minutes remaining of the first half. As Fiji give chase. Use it. Returning to the championship for the first time since 2014 after winning the World Rugby in the 20 trophy in Romania with a record 58-8 defeat of Samoa in the final. Six back. Use it. Scotland somehow managed to turn the ball over. Still in play though. Play on. But Michael again with the chase. So the ball came forward off uh, the Scottish hand. There is the great John Jeffrey, former back row forward for Scotland. But for the last scrum was stable and square. He only got goal forward because he accepted it when he came across. Now, of course, on the, the, square, please. I got him to the executive well. board of World Rugby. Great player, great administrator, and an even better tourist.
when if we can remember the last try started with the recover ball the restart from Rory Mac Michael on the side and finish five minutes later into the goal Crap. so the scrum some few five minutes Set. in from touch just Hold on it. the uh, Scotland 10 meter line clawed out by uh, Thierry Shaw Osea Natonga we've seen too much of him Wanga Wanga all the way Osea Wanga what a great score the intervention of Osea Natonga in from the left slicing open the Scottish defense and Wanga, what a blistering try that was. He was on the end of an end-to-end -end try for Fiji against uh, Wales earlier on in Great. the tournament. Thank you. And that has to be up there with the best. This is Fiji 100%, just looking for some space. A very good switch to go to find the angle and the space to finish into the goal. That is Fiji and Star 100%. Well, that try, that score certainly stunned uh, the uh, Scottish players. It'll be worth having a look at that one again, but for the moment, let's concentrate on uh, Caleb Muntz. Puts it away from in front of the posts. And Fiji once more have that nine point advantage. Look at this, Santi. Even the cameraman finds it difficult to keep up with uh, the Tonga and Wanga. That's a bit of Fiji trying to play wide. A dummy pass and that, then that switch to finish to break the line and finish in the goal determination on the face of uh, Osea Wanga the Ngaunabu representative uh, they'll be jumping up and down back in Fiji that's the sort of play they want to see from their young Stop charges me, here mate. and they're looking good at the moment with some Seven. six minutes remaining of the first half in Scotland nine. 15 Fiji 24 high into the sky it goes from Simone Kuruvoli looking for a mistake perhaps from the Scottish defense and they have it too they have another scrum it's all Fiji at the moment yes Fiji is when you call in the moment they are on fire they, they need they want to play they want to keep the ball they want to they want everything and they know they can score when they have the ball when they have the possession maybe they're looking for something more before to finish this half well that should have been davidson's ball coming up from fullback perhaps he didn't call for the ball that's down to communication or lack of communication but you can see how that try has lifted the spirits of the fijians the second mistake in a row from Scotland to catch the ball at the end. That's a concern for Carl Hogg, Set. the Scottish goal. 16 missed Hold. tackles in the opening 35 minutes or so. Let's see what Fiji have up their sleeve this time. Again, they look Everybody to bring Scotland. in Osea Natonga, but this time Scotland were waiting for him. Blaine, man on man, you'd back him every time. Always under pressure. Manages to, to keep the ball the in play. So uh, Craig Evans was uh, playing advantage and talking to Craig Evans just before the game. Uh, have you, you know, I'm. He said, I'm going to referee it as I would any normal game. I know it's a relegation match and all that, he said, but as far as I'm concerned, it's another 80 minutes of rugby. Yes, it's not Good. easy for the ref, too. And when Fiji want to play short, when I, where, where, the space, where they're not space, they made mistake like this. When they need to play wide, they know how to do it. Look at that, six offloads uh, from uh, Fiji. Crack. Gain line success, 12 to Scotland's 24, but look at the scoreboard. Bye. Scotland 15, Fiji 24. When Fiji break, most of the opportunities finish at the Keep goal, that is the difference. You were good when I was there. Maybe of the speed of I'm not there. Different team. Well, I referred earlier to uh, Fiji's trophy success, which uh, meant that they qualified for this tournament. I should also mention that uh, two of their star players in uh, that uh, championship were Viglioni and Botitu and Meli Dinerelangi. Botitu who capped a remarkable seven season with inclusion in the 2018-19 Sam's Dream Team and Dinerelangi, well, he was World Rugby Sam's United Rookie of the Year. So that's the talents they have uh, in Fiji. I tell you what, they're not too bad at the set pieces either. Thompson, Davidson again. This time, Rory McMichael. 
No room on the near side. There is advantage here for Scotland. Tom yeah, Marshall, Lee Wood, Johnson in concert, back Jason on the narrow Martin. side. Blaine has travelled all the way over from the left flank. McMichael has another go. Again, is hauled down. Marshall to Thompson. Leaves it for the tight head. Ewan McLaren. Fiji. Gutsy play it, in defence uh, from uh, them as Ashman. Lovely off with the no look pass, finding okay, Robbie McCallum this Daniel. time. So the advantage is over for Scotland. Craig Evans will not call them back. Could be another Chris penalty Martin here. No. Oh, well done, Fiji. Turnover good. Excellent work. Turnover good, says Craig Evans. Well, Fiji are growing in stature. Good hands. <laughs> Chris Minimbe won Fiji. Have the numbers here. Up comes uh, Tungovu, who's already got one try. Looks to send uh, Rory McMichael. Get off the bus, he says. Rasaku in and around the posts. Rasaku gets a fourth try for Fiji. And we've not arrived at half time yet. Rasaku, he delivered uh, a few passes earlier in the game for uh, the opening tries, but now he shows what a finisher he is. Santi. This is code to code. This is Fiji and Stella again. It's very nice to see, but not to play against, obviously. They fetch the ball in, in, the red, in his own red zone. Then a little, many offloads into the defense play to one side to the other side and they finish where they have to finish because he believes it's penalty under the post that was done live as was live was running Time on. i'll go to the try craig thank you so the try is good You've craig got evans just 90 uh, seconds to go checking oh, okay yeah 90 yeah. seconds remaining of the first half and caleb Mans will use up uh, all the time at his disposal not really wanting uh, to receive at the restart, not wanting to give uh, Scotland the opportunity to come back uh, with a score before half time. The game against Italy was, was delayed by 50 minutes, and that certainly frustrated Scotland's coach Carl Hogg and his team as Mutz sends another one between the posts to take his team out over the 30 point mark. It's Scotland 15, Fiji 31. Look at this. Look at that. Offload close from the floor and they kept, they keep the ball alive always always you know you never know when finish the movement of fish and they are tackled but they can pass the ball from the floor too thompson kicks high Wanga. Oh, look at this again, Fiji, the kick, the chase from the Tonga, the Tonga for the corner, brilliant work from Tonga, from whoa, whoa, whoa. the Tonga, Fiji at their best, whoa, whoa, whoa. straight from the restart and I suggested perhaps that Scotland could score before the break, but what brave play there from Etonia Wanga, the lock forward, had no thoughts of going into the shed for a break, Found this guy, Osea Natonga. Time is yours. Talk us through this one, Santi. Yes, they are the owner of the sky always. They can, they know how to play the air game. And then the speed. And ah, one, okay. what a skill that we are not... We, we can always see, just use the kick. But they are the owner of the sky. They are so tall, they know how to play at the air. And then the speed of the players did the rest. And what a final of this first half. Breathless rugby from Fiji, five from six for Caleb Muntz, 11 points, points his personal tally. And Scotland. Look missing. Oh, they left the aprons in the kitchen this morning. Final act of the first half, and there'll be some stern words in that Scotland shed at half time. Because this game certainly two tries in as many minutes has taken the game away from them as Mertz crowns yet another fantastic oh score God. from Fiji, claimed by Osea Natonga, but the door opened by Etonia Wanga, the tall.
Junto a los ídolos, los invitamos al campo. Hey Ross, hey boys. Craig, all good. Okay. See you, buddy. <laughs> Vamos a número 15, Mark Johnson. Como se llama el número 10, Ross Thompson. El mundo imparcial, Fuji 17, entonces 15. Green advantage of Colts Stanley over. Look. Boys, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, look. I'm not going to stand you and have a conversation, but I understand your concern. Yeah. If there's anything more, then the team want to come through. He came through with Stanley only, so then it's not going to up on the screen. If he believes it's Stanley only. That was done live. That was live, it was running. <laughs>
Welcome back to the old Russian uh, club ground here on the outskirts of Rosario, where the halftime score is Scotland 15, Fiji 38. Two quickly taken tries from Fiji have suddenly taken the game away from Scotland. Alongside me, Win Griffith, is uh, Argentina Sam's go Santiago Gomez Cora, who has got a, a wide smile on his face. He loves this kind of open rugby that Fiji have displayed in the opening 40. Yes, yes, you have a very strange situation here because Fiji is leading this match for 38 to 15, but the Scotland team has the possession, more than 60, 60% 60 of the possession, but they are focusing to follow the game plan and not to find gaps, and Fiji and team is most directly just run straight and look for some offload and they finish. That's why they score more tries than Scotland. You just mentioned the word there, uh, offloads, and some of the offloads have been just sublime from uh, Fiji. Just the sort of rugby you'd expect from them because uh, when Fiji smile, the whole world smiles with them. Yes, yes we love the, the style. It's a, they have a little ri of reach of risk to do that, but it's, a, it's, a, it's the way that they feel the rugby and that's why maybe in sevens are the best because they always keep the ball safe and look for for some pass. Uh, Scotland, the proud nation that they are, they trail by 23 points. That's uh, four scores that they need uh, in this uh, second 40 minute period. But cast your mind back to the game they played against New Zealand, which ended uh, 52 points to 33, I think it was. Scotland came back strongly in the second half, and any team who can score five tries against New Zealand deserve respect. Yes, they know how to do it. They, that's why maybe they have the possession. They have to adjust some details and don't lose the ball in yeah. the last 22. But they, they know how to do it, and we are going to have a yeah, very good yeah. second half yeah. here. Well, it's cliched, I know, but... Uh, Yep. Scotland have to score first in this Craig, uh, second in period. Box, it's okay? very important yeah. the first 10 minutes okay. to see the reaction of the Scotland team. Jack Blaine scored the first try for Scotland. Matt Davidson nice got their whenever. second, but five well taken tries from Fiji, all scored by the outside backs. Well, Scotland renowned for their brave heart spirit they need to dig deep now if they are to remain on the circuit on the championship circuit for next year 2020 looms large but scotland are facing the relegation trapdoor they need to find inspiration from somewhere they might get it from their captain connor boyle with the headgear goes to ground scotland had first possession in this second half frostwick from the curry club the famous curry club Hoists the high ball, securely taken by Kuruvoli, but there was a shove in the back. And there'll be a stern warning here from referee Craig Evans. Yes, the Scotland team the majority are of a little angry because of the, high tackle, the penalties no of the tackle, high tackles. Pushing man off the ball. At the end of the third half, discipline. the same. There's not much more to take. It might be a little else. That's why maybe the ref is to the please. captain. Number six. Yeah. Well, Fiji's discipline in this tournament has been commendable, it has to be said. The six. Much improved from uh, from previous years. Very controlled play, the odd uh, high tackle. Yeah, that's, uh, well, I suppose that's inevitable uh, when the stakes are high and the pressure begins to tell. They need to control the discipline. Six plus. So 23 points the difference, Scotland. It starts here for Ewan Ashman and his men. And the line out almost goes wrong for the men in blue. They'll keep it tight through McLaren. On the Fijian 22. Thompson. Blaine is in from the left wing looking to uh, break through the resolute Fijian defense, which has held firm. Not just in the opening half here, but uh, during the whole uh, tournament. In the games uh, that they played for an hour or more, right to the death against Georgia. Very unlucky. Last Monday here at the uh, field adjacent to this one. 12-8 they lost. Desperation then from Scotland. They have to keep to their processes. Frostwick digs it out for Murray Walker. Over on the left here, Tom Marshall on his own, the number eight, as McLaren is dumped unceremoniously just inside the 
Fijian 22, Thompson. Fiji up very quickly. The big hulking figure of Chris Minimbi brings him to ground. But it's still there for Scotland. Walker again. Has he been turned? No, he hasn't. Frostwick to Ewan Johnson. Plays his rugby uh, out uh, in uh, France, in Paris, for the Racing uh, 92 club. Ever closer than oh, Scotland. Ashman, five tries in this tournament, but he's bundled over, knocked back in the tackle. Thompson again, bringing uh, the backs in on the angle. Blair can't quite gather, Blaine rather. Greg Evans wants a second opinion. They're going to ask for Frank Neely. Yes. Team Yo. Yes, I can hear you, Craig. Okay, my own field decision is try, as I've actually got a ground in. But there's two things I'd like to check. I'd like to check initially if it was a knock on before the last pickup, and then just double check that the ground in um, is okay. If obviously the first bit isn't a knock on, please. Okay. So, on-field decision is a try. We're going to check for a grounding and also, firstly, possible knock-on. Yes, please. Okay. Stand by. So, Scotland could have well clawed one try back. Is Brian McNeese from Ireland was the TV match official. Now, then, was there a knock-on first? Craig Evans happy with the grounding. So, let's see. Craig Evans and Rasta Rasavenga go over to the, to the big screen. Mm. So Brian McNeese will uh, roll back the video evidence. And it's very important, listen the ref. It's a big difference with the soccer, where the, you can listen. Okay, Craig, stand by. We'll show you the the now. Okay. So here we are, let's have a look. First question was, was there a knock on? Looks okay. And the pickup was good. Frostwick is the man. The scrum half. Oh, they lost the position at the last moment. Well, Craig Evans says he's happy with the grounding. Mm. He's more concerned about the knock-on. This the pass is okay. No, no problem there, I don't no think. No problem no. there. Clean pickup from mm. Frostwick. So if Craig Evans is happy with the grounding, who am I to disagree? Craig, yep. I have a decision for you. Yep. So the, no problem with the initial, there was no knock-on initially. Agreed. But in the act of grounding, the player has lost control of the ball. Scrum down, Fiji ball on the five. Scrum five, Fiji ball. Okay. Lost the control in the last moment. The first pass was okay. The pick up was okay, but they, when but they the want to jump fine. into the goal, they lost, lost the control. possession. They lost the control of the ball. No, he's lost Good call, Santi. Yeah, in real time, unlucky. Craig Evans was convinced that the ball had been uh, grounded, but uh, the video evidence Scrum. suggested otherwise. So it's a, a let off for control. Fiji. Scrum down for them, right on their own uh, try line. And feed, uh, Scotland, well, they have to regroup. Unlucky moment for Scotland, and it's the same picture of the first half. They have the possession, and they couldn't score. So this is a huge scrum. Scotland looking to turn around their fortunes at the top of the second half. Uh, that's the best ball for Fiji, quick in and uh, quickly out from uh, Thierry Shaw, the number eight. They've gained some ground, back safely into the hands of Muntz, who sweeps it downfield, won't find touch. Walker to Thompson. The step inside from uh, McCallum. Fiji making sure of their first uh, time tackles. Frostwick denied a try. Uh, Rory Mike oh. Michael has uh, tried his level best. Looking for the breakthrough then. That's uh, Marshall Sykes wearing six. Number 26 on for Scotland. That's uh, Grant Hughes. Loman McPherson is on on the wing as well, wearing 27. Oh, a 
lots of great Renewed. hits coming in uh, to uh, two man tackling. Tackle is completed, 15. Uh, the frustration uh, writ large on the face of Rowan Frostwick, the Scotland scrum half, throwing his arms up in uh, exasperation. Same situation, they have territory, they have possession, and they can break the line of Fiji, the defense of Fiji are awesome too, we have to talk about the defense of Fiji. Many penalties, but... Craig Evans explaining there that the tackle had been completed, so he got to release the ball, and the next guy in, of course, he a little too eager, perhaps. The missed tackles mounting against Fiji now. Just to recap, then on for Scotland, number 26 Grant Hughes, number 27 Lomond McPherson. So a discussion. This is a situation of the penalty. Yep. Well, Scotland know that they have to go for the tries. They need three converted tries to get back into this game. It's better from the line out. And once more, they go for the, uh, the driving ball. Controlled aggression is what's needed here. Accuracy, direction, Keep it up, motivation is there, certainly. Advantage, Blue. Advantage Scotland. Frostwick waits. Okay. White, picking the legs in the mall. Well, I'm just wondering when will Craig Evans' patience Another penalty come to maybe. an end? Maybe Boys, he's going to put some jumper, yellow car. The jumper. Let's go to see the patient of Evans. Fiji testing the referee's patience. It's the first element. Done well again by Scotland. And Fiji really gets stuck in here. And Scotland not gaining anything from that uh, rolling ball as McMichael comes in the wing three quarter set it up again Scotland make sure that they got a firm hold on the ball some five meters out from the uh, Fijian try line taking the ball back infield driving in on the angle again the try must surely come here the pick and go Won't go far this time either. Quiet, nine. And every uh, lunge at the try line sucks the energy out of the uh, Fijian defence, but they hold firm. Scotland come again, drive forward, and this time Craig Evans' arm is in the air. And it wouldn't surprise me to find that the ball comes up tucked under the arms of uh, the hooker. Ewan Ashman takes his tally for the tournament Craig, to six and he could become the first penalty, front row player yeah. to, to be the tournament's to top to try scorer ever. It's a great credit uh, to the Sale Sharks hooker, Ewan Ashman. Yes, a Scotland team maybe was waiting for Ashman because he's the try man of this team and he did it again. He finished into the goal line and more pick and go. It's a classical style of Scotland. They try, they try to play wide, but they lost many possession. Maybe they say play sure, keep the possession in the red zone, and finish into the goal. So Scotland get their reward, and another two points takes their tally out to 22. They still trail Fiji by 16 points, seven minutes into the second half. Plenty of time remaining in this match. Plenty of life left in this match. Scotland on the back foot. Blaine sends it into touch. Sun in his eyes. Gains some 15 meters perhaps, but it's going to be a, a Fiji line out. 
this is the moment for Fiji to start to play because this first okay. eight minutes Time was for seven. Scotland. Six. We know Fiji can score in any moment, but they need to start to play okay. right now. Terry Shaw. How do they say? On hand is Antonio Wanga. Hey. What a tournament he's had. We'll uh, look for his name again in the in these seasons to come. Tungovu. Mans. Ratu Maitabuki to Shaw this time on the wide outside. Or almost finding his captain to meet it, Ikani Bere. Always prepared to have a go, though, the Fijians. And they don't know how to close the game down, do they? They just love to throw it about. Exactly. You know, with Fiji in any moment, they can break the line. They did it with a dummy pass at the beginning, and they finished with that mistake, but they are in the, in the territory of Scotland. That's good. Testing kick for Rasaku, but he can take those uh, high balls all day. That's fine. Wanga, no problem there. Rasaku had released the ball and then they picked it up a second time. Tungovo, what a difficult man to stop in full, full flight he is. But it's a Tungovo. Munch, Munch to the gap. Can Fiji go all the way here? Wanga, and again, it's an east offload for Osea Wanga, his namesake, who claims his second try of this match and Fiji's sixth. Yes, see, see, see. Beresa Tukubu is the guy who, who started, uh, who break the first line and then finish with Waka into the goal. But the guy who started all the movements Craig, is number 13. He break the first line, then start to play the offload into the defense, and number 15, Osia Waka, finish jumping into the goal to put more numbers for Fiji. Well, we've seen this time and again from Fiji during this tournament. No sooner have the opposition scored that they're right back in the hunt and claim a score of their own. Well, it's looking uh, ever bleaker for Scotland. And this guy, number 10, Caleb Mans, the, ma the brain of this team, he's always there to take the decision to which place, to which side, continues the attack. Okay. It's a personal tally of 15 points and for Caleb Munts, and that 23-point uh, gap has been uh, reinstated courtesy of a second try for the fullback. Osea Uwanga, just love these offloads. It's instinctive play from the Fijians. One, three and seven. And we are very happy watching this. We don't have any problem if Fiji want to keep doing this because we love to see okay. it. And we have the same situation. Time the on. possession is for Scotland, but the Fijian team score more points. Scotland bring on further reinforcements. 22, that's Teddy Leatherbarrow. Use it! And this tournament has been about managing resources, of course. In Leather Barrow, it was on uh, for the captain, Connor Boyle. This is Lamont McPherson, hardly saw the ball uh, in the game against Italy Five, earlier on in the week. Six, Such eight, were the eight. conditions that the ball hardly went uh, further than uh, the outside half or inside centre. Ball stuck under a pile of bodies as Thompson goes high once again Blaine gives chase the challenge in the air and the penalty will be against the Scotsman who had uh, no real hope of winning possession so advantage Fiji through Kuravoli I can understand the idea to keep the ball to that cross kick because everyone knows 
the Fijian players are the owner of the sky. They, they want all the ball in the uh, they are. Yeah. And they need to keep the possession. They need to be patient, move the ball, try to find the space. But no, they decide to kick and lose this possession. Time off. Time off. So replacements on for Scotland. Yeah. That, Andrew yeah, Nimmo replaces Murphy Walker. Will Hurd replaces uh, Ewan McLaren. And as already mentioned, Teddy Leatherbarrow from the Sale Sharks replaces the head Captain Connor Boyle. There's a Fijian player down on the far side. Look at that. Rasaku, 95 meters made. Osea Wanga, 79. And Kurawoli, the diminutive uh, scrum half, 56 meters. The territory. The possession again has been with Scotland 62 percent to 38 but each time the Fijians have the ball in uh, in hand yeah they're very creative they do something yeah, with the ball yeah, talking about the effective and it's easy for the fish and coach from seven come here to pick some players it's easy and three turnovers for Fiji when they Sometimes fetch the ball into the rack goes, goes, goes. they finish scoring and they offload are amazing they keep the ball alive that's why fishy blue and white are so effective maybe when they cross the line 11 offloads for fiji in this match and uh, guys you happy well, all subs are made most of them have uh, led to tries six tries in the okay. second half the scotland team has more carries okay. but the same it's not just the number is effective of the numbers Lino Mairara is on at hooker for uh, Fiji wearing 20 that's Anasa Ngara and Ivalu okay the, the line uh, is over a back row forward the line is over so ball lost forward the line was over so Scotland get the advantage at uh, the, the scrum Top tackler uh, Tiri Shaw with 13. Lock forward Minimbi has made 11 tackles. And the Scotland. Crash! Number eight, Tom Marshall. Five. He's up there with the top tacklers as well. Set! Scrum rock solid Marshall. The decoy runners everywhere. Blame. <laughs> Takes it into the uh, Fijian half. Frostwick biting, snapping at the heels of uh, the forwards. Davidson was there. The fullback, McMichael, hasn't been able to break through on the wing. Stopped in his tracks. That's uh, McPherson. Scotland come again. Ashwin and Fiji recognize the threat in the Sail Sharks hooker. Two tries against Georgia, two tries against Italy. Very impressive performance. Will Hurd, student at the Cardiff Metropolitan Away. University in Wales. Big hit. Rush defense again, uh, good from Fiji. <laughs> Holding up the uh, Scottish attackers. They're going backwards at the moment. And the men in blue. Marshall Sykes looks to give them First forward line. momentum. What a defense from Fiji. They are there. They're Turn always on his, on his, his step, waiting point. for the opportunity. They did a lot of tackles, big tackles, double tackles, and waited for the opportunity for, to fetch the ball. This is a the, the, the weapon that they have when they're waiting in that rucks. Little Tonya Wanga in 15 is the first one up there to congratulate his forwards. Yeah, it's all about a, a team performance here for Fiji. And last year when they won the junior trophy, it was mostly players from the islands and uh, only two overseas based players. And uh, you can tell now, Santi, that the pathway for players in Fiji is actually paying off in terms of the. The work has been done behind the scenes. Yeah, and that's very encouraging for coach Kelly Leawere. We always are talking about the attack of Fiji, but now we can talk about the scrum because they, they put a lot of pressure on that set piece and that scrum. 
and then the defense. They're always on, on his legs, waiting Set. for the opportunity, and running and running well, to recover Kelly, the ball. With Kelly Lewere at the helm, perhaps this performance should come as not a surprise to me because I was there Set. at the Rugby World Cup in 2007 when he scored one of the tries that uh, sent Wales home empty-handed. No, no, I can't. Stunned, uh, supporters of the game everywhere except on the islands, that is, of course, the great Kelly Lewere. One of the biggest shocks in Rugby World Cup history. Scotland. Deep in their own half. They trail by 23 points as we approach the hour. Stay with me. And Fiji looking good to uh, remain in the Premier competition of the uh, World Rugby Under-20s Championships. <laughs> Ever present from 2008 to 2014. They lost to Italy last year, but then right back, back up at the top table. Nah, it's fine. Fiji contesting Tackle every scrap of possession. Tackle it, roll quicker, effective the clear out. And not rolling away quick enough for Craig Evans on that occasion. Yes, with some penalties from Fiji, but trying to do his best, as we say, no, they are very focused, they work very hard with the defense. It's not just a team who knows how to attack, okay. you know they know how to defend too. Gone, no? There's Number a bruising one. encounter. If you uh, take a close look H at that uh, swelling into the right eye of uh, the Scotland outside half, Ross Thompson, you know that he's been in the thick of it. Number one, HIA substitution, please. So off for Fiji is uh, Levi Natabe for a head injury assessment. So on comes Emusi. Tungiri wearing 17. And 21 coming on, that's Epa. Epa Rama Sayilo. From uh, Tailebu. Time to for substitution because the Fijian team is, are running a lot and making a lot of tackles. <laughs> and they need to Flat keep mass. that pressure. Yeah, it's been a long three weeks and uh, Jack Blaine just a half a meter too slow perhaps thank you it's incredible but we are talking about the difference of Fiji they did talk very good about the evolution of the game they know how to attack they need to learn how to defend the discipline maybe it's another point to work that they are working very hard as a, as a team it's not just individual skills that's the best ball, isn't it, for midfielders? The ball at the back of the line out. Fresh legs, fresh impetus. This is Epa Ramasailo. Hurdling into the uh, Scottish 22, almost an interception. They're not on there. It's still there for Scotland. Back backwards. Backwards. Play on backwards. Ball didn't go forward. So a timely interception there from Scotland as uh, Fiji seemed to be in the hunt for another try. Already six on the scoreboard, five in the first half. A brace for Osea Wanga, the fullback. The three Fijian players there very quickly on the uh, Scottish ball carrier. Again, Fiji going off their feet. And another penalty on the ball. against Fiji. Well, the number of penalties are mounting up. Uh, Ten penalties in total against uh, Fiji to Scotland's five. But judging by the number of times I've heard Craig Evans uh, warn uh, the uh, Fijian captain, it would suggest that they've conceded more than nine. Or ten, rather. Perfect. What a skill for number 14 from Scotland. The, the race, no, because it's close from yellow car. Davidson. Set, from the London Scottish Club. Started against South Africa under Georgia, made an impact off the bench against Italy, but too late to influence the final outcome. Six. 
Thompson finds a little space for himself. The ever-present Ewan Ashman. Almost up to the Fijian 22. Round the narrow side they go. Frostwick into the hands of Robbie McCallum. And Blaine has to come in again to give a, a helping hand. No, nothing in it, nothing in it. Play on. That's a solid tackle. Not for the first time in midfield. Two on one. A diminutive Frostwick. Is the man to uh, to feel uh, the after effects of that challenge? McCallum once more plays his rugby out in Spain in similar conditions to uh, these, I dare say. Not Scotland just can't break through this uh, solid Fijian defence. That was Sykes, the flank forward. Thompson again whips the ball out into the hands of uh, Rory McMichael. To Grant Hughes, a rare possession for the replacement. 15 players from Fiji on his step, waiting to the fence. <laughs> Another penalty. Scotland team forced to do that. But it's another penalty for Scotland. Number 11. A lot of tired legs out there, particularly in the blue shirts. Down injured, that's Ross Bundy. Okay. Three points, no good at this point in the game. Number 12. I think he's on the floor, is he? Okay, time, time's off. Keep the line there. A little cramp setting in amongst the uh, the Fijian players, the game being played at a high tempo, Santi. Yes, Ewan Ashman is the guy to break the line for Scotland. And the number 13. Tungubu from Fiji is the guy to break the line too, but it's a one twelve. Now you know the one. Fijian Sam's coach Gareth yeah, okay, Bieber very, very well, and uh, are you making notes now with one or two of these players that might feature uh, in his plans for next season Five and the months. Olympic Games coming up? Yes, I have to send some details or some names because they have <laughs> they can choose from here. I don't know three or four players. They have you move a, a stone in Fiji and you find another player. It's just amazing. <laughs> they are in everywhere. They have four teams to, to be competitive in the series. Well, it's been a great year for Fiji, uh, crowned uh, World Rugby Sam's Series champions in the run-up to the 2020 Olympics uh, in Tokyo, of course. That's Jack Hill with a headband uh, replacement at uh, lock forward. Again, Scotland resorting to the driving wall. They need a score from somewhere as we uh, are now into the final quarter. And remember, one of these teams will be relegated after 80 minutes. At the moment, it looks as if it's going to be Scotland, unless they can produce a miracle from somewhere. Thompson knows that uh, Scotland have the advantage. Blaine dots it down. Wow. Well, we've seen that work well, the understanding between Scott Thompson and Jack Blaine out on the wing. Could it be the start, perhaps, uh, of the recovery for Scotland? What a surprise with that cross kick. They started the line and Maul, they, 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 they did that the last time. And they changed the situation, they changed the plan. I took the decision to do this cross kick for the number 11, Jack Blaine to score the second try for him in the personal account and to put pressure to Fiji. Thompson from the near touch line. He's proved an accurate kicker from the tee and uh, with ball in hand. But this time the ball drops uh, wide of the left hand upright as we look again inch perfect kick pass from ross thompson into the hands of jack blaine simple try for the uh, wing three quarter great skill from the scottish outside half scotland 27 fiji 45 Looks simple but was a very good very smart decision because all the fiji and defender are together and he took that decision to cross the kick to the number 11 but finish into the goal but kicks long the try scorer back to the outside half 
It's a long touch finder. And into the uh, the breeze that appears to be picking up, it's blowing into our faces here. So it's a cross field breeze from the far corner over to uh, to this corner. It's a crucial moment from the match because if Scotland score again, it's very close for Fiji. Yeah. But if Fiji score right now, close maybe the match. Well, we've seen them respond, the haven't we, time and time again in this match. Each time that Scotland has scored, Fiji have struck back, and those two tries in quick succession just before half time may well have taken the game away from Scotland and secured their future in the World Rugby Under-20 Championship. Ilai Sandro Sesewa did ask the question, didn't we, why this man uh, didn't start the game, but fresh legs, and uh, he can certainly uh, add to uh, Fiji's scoreline and Scottish woes. What a moment from Scotland, they know they know how to do it. They are waiting now from Fiji. Fiji is going to pay so expensive this mistake. They had this mistake in the first half, but the two or tries at the end of the first half maybe hide that situation. But now they couldn't score, so Scotland is close now. This is where Scotland want to be playing their rugby deep inside the Fijian 22. Another score, perhaps, might make the Fijians look at one another. But they've been very competent, very adept in uh, halting and impeding that Scottish wall. But it's there for Frostwick. Blaine again looking for his uh, hat-trick, perhaps. Infield. All the Scottish players now the other side of that ruck. Taken up by Ewan Johnson. Scotland slowly pressing forward through uh, Marshall Sykes, the air representative. Thompson to reach forward for that one. Rory McMichael has to... Work hard once again, the replacement, that's Andrew Nimmo from the Glasgow Hawks, the replacement prop forward. Away, boys, away. A tackle comes in from Yabaki Seto. Thompson, a little uh, stutter step from the Scottish Ten. outside half, but he's managed to retain possession. Frostwick finds Teddy Leatherbarrow, replacement wing forward. Fiji have regrouped, but uh, Scotland have a penalty here. Thompson, little dink through, meant for Blaine, perhaps. Wanga is there, dotting it down, but they'll come back for the penalty. They took the risk, maybe, because they had the advantage. But the Fijian player looked a little tired. Maybe it's time to make more substitution. The prop, the first row, looked... Okay. Because I have, oh, Scotland has always more numbers than, than Fiji. It's going to be off 10 minutes. Well, lower, lower. It was the man penalised the uh, the flank forward. He's got it. Hey, I've got it. So Scotland go for the line-out drive once again. It's proved very effective. And uh, interestingly, Scotland didn't go for the for the scrum, and uh, the Fiji scrum has held up well today. Scotland moving forward. Craig Evans is there. And who might come up with the ball once again? It's that man, Ewan Ashman. Unbelievable. For the third time in this tournament, he's claimed a brace of tries. And whatever happens uh, in the final between France and Australia, Jordan Joseph was on a par with Ewan Ashman coming into this match on five tries. Ewan Ashman now has seven. Remarkable for a hooker. Ashman, always Ashman. Ashman again, he's the try man of the team. And the same secret, the same style for Scotland, line and mall to finish into the in goal. Now Scotland okay. is pushing to Fishy and to put a lot of pressure at the end of this match. So this kick from Ross Thompson to close the gap ever so slightly. Another two points, two valuable points for Scotland. Just creeps inside the far up right now. It's interesting. With 12 minutes remaining of this match. The bean gap is down to 11 points. Okay, it's been full 10 minutes for the HIA. Okay, it's been a full. What a final we have here. Win. 10 minutes, more than 10 minutes to play. Well, that's right. A perfect condition. Wait, 10, 10, 10. 
That second try from Ewan Ashman has thrown Scotland a lifeline. 11 points the difference. Whereas it was four scores, the difference it's now down to two. And this is a true test of character now for the Islanders, who looked so good at 38 to 15 at half time. Oh, okay. At 45 to 22 a few minutes One, ago, two, the two three, quickly four, taken tries from Scotland have brought them back into this match, but there's still work to do. Craig Evans is still okay, waiting he's not back. for They're counting with the game. confirmation whether okay. Levi Natave is Play likely on. to come back forward following a head injury assessment. The 10 minutes are up, so it doesn't look as if he is coming back. But this time sends the ball out to the left at the restart rolling forward that's uh, Jack Hill a Durham University student left-footed Thompson Not sends it way downfield behind uh, Caleb Muntz clearly looking for a line out to oh, right on the effigy and try line Muntz right has he found touch yes he has he's found good touch too has the uh, Fijian number 10. Scotland ball. Was perfect. The kick from Scotland. 10 centimeters from the ingo. Now the territory and the possession is for Scotland. Thompson sends it wide to uh, Robbie McCallum. The Fijians defending narrowly here. Scotland look to lift the game as we approach the final 10 minutes. McMichael can't find a way through. It's a very busy Long afternoon the as the, uh, the wing three quarter for Scotland. Hands out uh, Marshall Sykes. Davidson whips it out again to uh, McCallum to Blaine. Already two tries in the scoreboard, but look, there are three Fijians there waiting for him. Jack Hill takes the direct route. Back legs. Back legs. Will Hurd is the uh, prop forward in midfield, setting it up again. Thompson, the flat pass this time. McMichael breaks through onto the 22. They're calling for the ball out wide beneath us here. Jack Blaine knows that there's space here. A man on man, you'd back him every time. Fiji on the defensive again. Davidson this time with a kick pass to nowhere. That's a wasted opportunity. They lost a good opportunity. Both teams look tired. Maybe the Fijian team look more tired than the Scotland team. They lost the patient in the last moment. They had to keep the possession, play in the territory of Fiji, and wait for the opportunity to score. Fiji in no hurry to restart from the 22, but the clock has been stopped. Okay, it's going to be a scrum, boys. We make the sub first. So Fiji. Kick was here. They bring on uh, Misake Kurisaru, yeah. wearing number 22, and he's a replacement for Simeone Kuruvoli, I would suggest, at uh, half back. Greg, if they take the scrum option, it's halfway between the 22 and the 10 meter line. Half between the 22 and the 10 meter line, so. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go. Go, go, go. Don't push me, I'm standing in the side. I'm walking through it. Yeah. Perfect there. Thank you. Guys, pull it back. Oh, we're going scrap now, you're not going back to the ball. You've had long enough. Let's get this boys. Let's go. Choose it, my hands. Yes, we move. What you can do right now, start to play or kick the ball away. Let's go if Fiji is going to play as a Fiji and team. Craig Evans is clearly playing advantage uh, to Scotland, hence the speculative kick from Matt Davidson. Crouch. So the clock is back on. Nine minutes. Five. Set. For Fiji to uh, hold out, they still hold a two score advantage. It's a good scrum from Scotland, but it's there for Fiji and Drua Sese. Whips the ball out, and this is where Fiji are at their most dangerous, and then more so than the Tuva representative, Ilaisa and Drua Sese. Penalty Fiji. Now then, how do they manage this? Because if there has been one criticism of Fiji during this tournament, it's their game management, and specifically in the final 10-15 minutes. 
cost them dearly against Georgia. We're going to see what's happening in this 10 minutes if they keep with the same style, the same performance. It's very important this penalty to calm down because Cotton comes and comes. Yeah, Muntz, first of all, needs to find touch. He finds good touch just beyond uh, the Scotland 22 meter line. And Fiji need to break line and play one off low, and they find space there, but it's not easy. The defense of Scotland is it's very, very strong right now in this moment. Scotland and Fiji did meet in the ninth place semi final back in uh, 2009. Scotland defeated Fiji on that occasion by 39 to 26. That was a, a high scoring game as well. We've got 79 points in this match already, but I would suggest that there could be at least one more score left in the final seven minutes or so. So Fiji have weathered the storm in their own 22. They've uh, coughed up two tries in that period but scotland the north one advantage over look to play out of their own 22 here that's grant hughes from sterling county fiji look to turn the ball over entry. Entry. illegal entry fiji a mistake huh? in, in the last 22 they lost the possession they tried to play three very wide well, the and penalty when they crash, they lost the possession, and now this penalty for Scotland. Yep. Wow. Sorry, Santi. Yeah, the penalty counted, mounting up against the Scotland, against Fiji rather. That's 14 now, and it's a wasted kick again. It's not the moment now for this mistake. It's not the moment. Never the moment, but not, yes. not in this moment. It's a dejected looking Ross Thompson at the moment. Walking back yeah, just halfway inside his the halfway and the own meter. half here, so they'll the come back minutes. all the way yeah. for a scrum. You can see what he was trying to do, give them pos position. Last six minutes and the details are going to make the difference at the end of the match. Details like this, you know, keep the ball away. Keep his shoulders out and stay out. 14 offload for Fiji against eight from Scotland. Well, that's a great start, isn't it, Santi? 14 offloads, and we've admired and enjoyed every one of them. Kurisaru from uh, Singatoka. That's on Mendroga. Set. Prepares to feed the scrum. Out safely into the hands of Mans. And through Assessi, looking to brush aside the tackle of Robbie McCallum, still moving forward. Quick ball for Fiji. This is Epa Sailo, the Tailebu representative. And he did a step from the replacement. High stepping Anasa Angare Nivalu. And this must surely be the try that keeps Fiji at the top table of the World Rugby Under 20s Championship. But hold the back page. I think Craig Evans might want to check the grounding. They are going to check my Fiji when break the front line and start to play into the defense are impossible to stop. The offload, the break line are the perfect situation for Fiji to score a try. The try the try is good. You cannot act as you did against the player. So there's gonna be a penalty on the 15. Oh, sorry, a penalty and a half way against you. Try is gonna stand, but it'll be a penalty against you. Keep your language and discipline down. Yeah, you can uh, forgive uh, Osea Wanga perhaps for being a Your little too excited for some uh, after try celebrations. He knew exactly what the implication yeah, yeah. of that try Craig was. Back. Craig, all good on the try. There will be a Sorry, penalty for yeah, Fiji okay. because of that indiscipline, uh, against Fiji for the indiscipline after this conversion attempt. But I don't think that Osea Wanga will mind too much because Fiji. Surely Four now, and a half minutes to go. have done enough. 84 points in total. Scotland 34, Fiji 50 with this conversion to come. And Caleb Munts will take all the time again at his disposal. What a remarkable scoreline this is. And what a remarkable performance from Fiji.
So Caleb Munster turns the screw and could be the final nail in the coffin for Scotland as Fiji are out to 52 to 34, courtesy of that individual effort from Anasa Ngaranibalu, the man from Natakali, takes Fiji up to the 50 point mark. The frustration from the Scotland team because they know how to play, they keep the possession, they play wide, they did everything okay. But the important thing is score and finish into the goal that Fiji and team did it. So 20 points then for Caleb Muntz. All on you, please. Push out, push out. The tryman is out of the field right now. Not straight. Fiji, Fiji doing a line out for the scrum. Okay. Scrum called. Uh, Fiji Quite know forward. that uh, they are within a few minutes of a very famous victory and that they will stay on the uh, World Rugby Under 20s uh, Championship next year, which is what they were playing for throughout this tournament. They've uh, caused a scare once or twice to Wales, Argentina, France as well along the way. Perhaps they should have won that game against uh, Georgia last Monday on the adjacent field in uh, the mud and the rain. But they, you can't deny that they played some attractive rugby throughout the tournament. It might not be over yet. And wouldn't this be a crowning glory of a fine afternoon for Fiji rugby, claimed by Ila Isa and Sese. And if you're watching this game back on the islands, well, enjoy the celebrations because these young men will certainly enjoy Rosario this evening. They'll have the freedom of the city. Scotland 34, Fiji 57. Bula Binaka, thank you very much for this try, for finishing this match with Fiji and Style 100%. One deep kick. Number 24, Ilyasa Androase, to give, one, uh, to give another try for Fiji under the post. And maybe to close that amazing try, that amazing match for Fiji. Eight tries in total. With a very good defense, with a very good skill to attack as always, as a Fijian style. Well, we've had some mismatches in the past, haven't we? But Fiji and Fiji have been on the receiving end, certainly uh, in years gone by. But they fully deserve their victory and their rightful place uh, at the top table of age grade rugby. We're looking at the future stars of the game, certainly here in Argentina. And this young man, I would suggest, might well be one of them in the future. Ilaise Androasese. Look very easy to the way they, in that he pick up the ball, no? Andrasse. Look easy, but it's an amazing skill because he keep running. And he could minute. pick the ball. And he didn't lose the speed. 45 seconds. Now. Well, Scotland the off, will be the first the tier one nation to be relegated from the championship since Italy in South Africa in 2012. And no home nation, and I mean the Northern Hemisphere Six Nations, has ever been relegated before. And this is only the second time that. Uh, the Northern Hemisphere Six Nation team has contested the length place playoff and Ireland survived a nail-biter in last year's shootout with Japan to retain their place in the World Rugby Under-20 Championship. The clock ticks down to zero here and Scotland's best efforts will see them return home empty-handed and that just about sums up the last three no, weeks for Scotland. They played some the ball went into excellent touch. rugby in parts, and uh, none more so than uh, when they Scotland. clawed their way back into the game against uh, New Zealand. And any team that scores five tries against the junior All Blacks uh, deserves uh, credit, PG. certainly. Four. But Four. they've been unable to uh, to put phases together PG. when it when it has mattered, and uh, they've been unable to break through the solid Fijian defense again here today which sees Fiji winning this one what to do is the last ball of the match Fijian style or you took it up the jumper Santi no I can't and believe it out it goes surely this time from the number 11 
Osir Natonga. Craig Evans blows the final whistle to bring a remarkable game to a close. And look at the celebrations. Kelly Liawere's Fijian side have defeated Scotland here with a remarkable scoreline, which has ended at full time with Scotland 34, Fiji 59. Scotland are relegated. Well, you have to feel for Scotland, certainly, but it hasn't been uh, their tournament uh, at all. They've shown the glimpses of what they can do, but there are 14 players in this uh, squad, Santi. We're looking forward to, to next year because they, they would be, have been able to return again, but they now have to re-qualify if they are to climb back up to the... Uh, the top table, so to speak. Yes, it's a sad moment for the Scotland rugby, and because it's a very good category to develop, to enjoy, to play, that was the challenge of Scotland, because as, as we say at the beginning, they never kick in all the under 20 championship. They took the decision to kick in the last match because they play as a final, but it's a, it's a very sad moment, but they know how to do it. They know how to be back here, but it's a moment to enjoy for Fiji. Scotland enjoyed the lion's share of possession, 68% to 32. Some remarkable skills, unbelievable offloads as well from the Fijians. 14 in total. A try count, a try tally of eight. Osea Wanga, the uh, fullback, claimed two of them. Some fine scores and look at the celebration. Jubilation in the ranks of the uh, Fijian squad desolation on the faces of the Scotland squad yes we have we, we can talk about Fiji it's not just a team who know how to attack who how to how score a lot of try that they did in this match the def the defense was amazing too well hopefully we can hear from victorious uh, Fiji captain shortly but first of all let's hear from a dejected no doubt uh, Scottish captain Connor Boyle who's downstairs with Willie Lose. Can you hear me, Willie? Oh, Willie really Lossi having uh, some technical problems. Connor, I suppose uh, your face pretty much sums up your disappointment. Did you let them get off the hook in the last first 40 minutes, rather? Pardon? Was it the first 40 minutes that cost your team? Yeah, I mean, you know, this game is the most important game of summer lives, and you know, Scotland have never been relegated from this tournament before, and. We just turned up, not on the money. You know, credit, credit to Fiji, they played the hearts out, but it's very disappointing, yeah. To the trophy for the first time in your history, what does this mean for Scotland rugby and how do you rebuild? Hey, we just, we've got to go away, it's a, a new group of boys. Uh, we've got a lot of boys coming back next year, but yes, yeah, it's, it's very disappointing. All right, mate, I know you're disappointed. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, disappointed, uh, if not dejected, Scottish captain Conor Boyle with a smile on the face of the Fijian uh, captain, Tevita Ikanivere tells its own story and let him uh, tell his story then to uh, Willy Lose, who's down there pit side with the victorious uh, Fijian captain. Tevita, Buller, and congratulations. What does this mean for the tiny island of Fiji? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, came through this uh, whole tournament. We competed as we like, but uh, we didn't finish for the full, full 80 minutes. Today we did it and we just like to give the honour and glory back to God. How important was it to get off to a great start and score two tries just before half time? Uh, we knew uh, everybody was tied, so we had to come up, come out and uh, just come out with a bang. And uh, we did it for the boys last year who brought us up and for our brothers going back next year to Italy. Well, you know that uh, you lost it against Georgia in the last minute. What were you saying to the guys in this game when it started to get a little bit tighter there? I uh, just told the boys just to give it all if they wanted to go. Our last boys under 20 this year, they have to give it all. Under 19, if they want to come back next year, they have to give it all. Well, you've created history. Fiji are now a, a regular team or a core team for next year's status. Do you want to send a message back to the fans back home watching? We must like to the affable Tavita Ikanivere, captain of the uh, jubilant uh, Fiji side, who've uh, retained their place uh, on the uh, 
World Rugby Under 20s Championship uh, coming up later on today. It's a ninth place uh, playoff uh, here at the club Old Resian. Coming up next, it'll be uh, Ireland against New Zealand. But for now, let's congratulate uh, Fiji on a job well done. They've defeated Scotland here at the uh, club ground of uh, the Old Resian Rugby Club. Uh, by 59 points to 34, and the sad news for Scottish rugby is that Scotland are relegated for the first time ever.